let's stop pretending that all treatment resistant depression is just a form of under treatment. Because I think deep down we all know that this is not true. It's just a lie that we tell ourselves to feel better about the limitations of the field. In many cases, we can all think of patients who have failed every option. They failed TMS, they failed lifestyle modification therapy, exercise, everything you can think of, even ECT. And this is the part that we all hate to admit, that our treatments don't cure depression. They manage the symptoms of depression, and that is it. We barely understand why people become depressed, let alone have the treatments to cure this very difficult disease. And what do we do when our treatments stop working? Do we rethink the model? Do we reconsider these things? No. We often double down. We add more medication. We recommend more neuromodulation. Because doing something for many people feels better than admitting that we're outside the bounds of what we might be able to do with the current tools that we have. At what point, I ask you guys, does more treatment cross the line into harm? Nobody wants to talk about that, but we really need to. And not every case of treatment-resistant depression is going to be a failure of effort. Sometimes the failure is the science. The science just isn't there. It's still in development. And until we stop hiding behind the word under treatment, we'll keep missing patients who need truth and not denial. So I'm Dr. Garrett Rossi. This is Shrinks and Sneakers. And this is Psychiatry Unfiltered.